Hello, everyone, welcome back to Higaspot channel. See, maybe you're getting this message on your iPad screen right now. If you've never encountered a similar situation on your iPad or iPhone before, this may be a new problem for you. But don't worry, this video will introduce three effective ways to help you quickly bring your iPad back to its normal state. iPad unavailable or security lockout is a new alert that appears only when your iPad is upgraded to iOS 15.2 or above. If you keep entering the wrong passcode, iPad unavailable or security lockout will be displayed on your screen, and you will need to wait longer to re-enter your passcode. And the worst result is that you really can't remember your passcode and your iPad stays unavailable. Now, if you want to unlock your iPad, you can only reset it to its default settings. This also means that all the information and data in your iPad will be deleted. I know, it may be a little sad, but there's no other way. Well, without further ado, let's start solving your iPad unavailable problem. The first method is using the Erase iPad option. Oh, it's a new feature on your iPad that allows you to reset it to default settings directly. The Erase iPad will appear at the bottom of the iPad unavailable or security lockout screen when you have entered the wrong passcode several times. Yep, this method is very easy and convenient. You can unlock your iPad without computer or other tools. But to use the Erase iPad option, there are some things you need to do first. Well, you need to make sure your iPad is running on the iOS 15.2 or later version. Your iPad also need to be connected to a stable Wi-Fi or cellular network, so there are no interruptions during the process. Lastly, you need to have your Apple ID and password ready, as you will need to enter them during the reset process. Okay, if you are all set, now, you can use the Erase iPad option to reset your iPad. Keep trying the wrong passcode until the Erase iPad option appears in the bottom of the screen. Tap on the Erase iPad option. And then, follow the prompts to confirm that you want to erase all data and settings on your iPad. Go ahead and tap the Erase iPad option again. Next, you need to enter your Apple ID and password. Once you have entered your Apple ID credentials correctly, the reset process will start automatically. Now, wait for the process to complete. This may take some time depending on the size of your device's storage. That's it, when the process is over, your iPad will restart, and you will be able to set it up as a new device. And if you have a backup, you can now restore your data and settings from the backup. Let's proceed. Follow the on-screen setup instructions until you reach the Apps and Data screen. Select Restore from iCloud Backup or Restore from Mac or PC to retrieve your lost data. But sadly, if you have not backed up before, you can only choose, don't transfer apps and data, and then proceed to the next step. But sometimes, you may can't find the erase iPad option on your screen. Then iPhone Unlocker can be the right helper to reset your iPad. iPhone Unlocker is a powerful tool dedicated to solving various problems related to passcode for iPhone and iPad. You can get this powerful software through the download link below the video. Once you have downloaded and installed it, Run it on your computer. Select Wipe Passcode option from the home page and click the Start button. Then, connect your iPad to the computer. If the software does not detect your iPad, put your iPad in recovery mode by following the tutorials in the Device Connected but Not Recognized link. Yes, it's here. Now, come to select and check the information about your iPad. If everything is right, click the Start button. It will download the most appropriate iOS software for your iPad from Apple servers. Once done, a warning window will appear. Now, read the pop-up window carefully and enter 0000 in the blank box. Then click Unlock button to start the reset process. The circle in the center of the page represents the unlocking process. Please wait patiently for it to complete. Well done. When the process reaches 100%, it means your iPad has been unlocked successfully. See, your iPad restarts now. Let's go ahead and set it up. If you have already created a backup on your computer or in iCloud, you can choose whether to restore the backup in the apps and data step. All right, let's move to the last method. It is using iTunes. Yes, iTunes can also help you reset your iPad when your device is in recovery mode and connected to your computer. 
Besides, you need the latest version of iTunes installed. Otherwise, you need to update your iTunes first. Let's begin. Now, use a USB cable to connect your iPad to the computer and put your iPad into recovery mode. If you are using an iPad without a home button, press the volume button closest to the top button and release it quickly. Then press and quickly release the volume button farthest from the top button. Now, press and hold the top button until you see recovery mode appear on the screen. If you're using an iPad with a home button, press and hold the home button and the top or side button at the same time. When you see recovery mode screen, release the buttons. All right. Locate and click on the device icon in the upper left corner of the iTunes window. And when you see the Restore or Update option, select Restore. Then iTunes will erase all the contents of your iPad. OK, your iPad will be unlocked without passcode and can be used normally after factory resetting. That's all for today. Pick a way to help your iPad get out of iPad unavailable, security lockout problem now. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and learn more tips on how to solve various problems with iOS devices. Thanks for watching.